This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. What is happening everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I want to show you guys how to create a very nice and very practical hacker screen VFX motion graphics in Adobe After Effects. So what you see right now on the screen is what I'm going to show you today. And I've seen this being used in almost every sci-fi or fiction based movie or video. Whether it's a short YouTube movie or a short YouTube series or a feature film, this sort of VFX is always there in the video. So, and I've also, you know, seen that this, these kind of videos are being uploaded to Video Hive, Pond5 and those kind of places for sales. And some of those videos really have a good amount of sales. So it always made me think, how were they looping this video, right? Because if you are uploading to a marketplace, you have to make it loopable so you get more sales. And it always made me think, how were they doing it? Right, so if you're a filmmaker or if you're into motion graphics as a career, this tutorial is going to be really good for you. And trust me, guys, this is not all that difficult to do. Right, the experimentation was a little difficult for me to come up with the looping technique, but this is actually very easy to do. Right, so I hope you enjoy the tutorial and uh, let's get started. Uh, I actually, before getting started, here is another example of what you can do with the same technique. This is a little towards motion graphics side, right? You can use it for creating a good motion background, as you can see in the background of this preview, right? And uh, as you can see, it, it can also be a nice a uh, short film intro, right? You can replace a word, you know, type something else, hacked, maybe hacker, right? I, I probably should have used that. But anyways, here is another example. I just rotated the camera, changed the color, and uh, it, it it's a it's a not a very great effect, not very feature film like, but definitely unique, right? It shows that you have experimented o over there and added some good effects. So definitely, if uh, you know, good for your demo reel or for a short film. So uh, with that being said, awesome people, let's get to it. Now, I would like to start off the tutorial by explaining you guys something. So I went to YouTube, I went to Google, I went to Vimeo, any other, you know, learning place on uh, internet that I could find for some looping techniques. And I went to YouTube and I honestly didn't find anything very useful. Everyone was showing me the opacity fade technique. And I did find this tutorial that, and, and that's why I'm mentioning it. It's a superb tutorial. I highly recommend you guys watching it. If you haven't watched it already, definitely go see it. This is by heart, awesome, awesome video. But even the techniques used over here were not gonna be enough for creating this, right? This was just a different kind of project altogether. And, uh, you know, when I was experimenting, I didn't find thing, you know, anything very useful. So this was, you know, a little difficult for me and I went to you know YouTube to go look for some hacker screen tutorial and I found this one then right this is by Mickey another superb YouTuber I'm a big fan of his videos and unfortunately even his videos were not gonna cut it so but the, the, you know the one thing that I found from this video useful was going to this link right here right so this is hackertype.net this is basically a website where you can just uh, type something I'm just holding down one button on my keyboard and as you can see, it's typing out all this, you know, code by itself. So you can probably go to this website. I'll leave a link to the, you know, do this in the description. And once you have done, you know, holding down that one alphabet, you can copy paste this full thing. So select everything. Don't press Control C because it's not going to copy. Do a right click, take copy, and then you can, you know, start working this in After Effects. So I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to call this main. And just for the tutorials case, awesome people, I'm going to keep the 720p. Otherwise, you can go for 4K if you'd like. Okay, click OK. I'm gonna take my text tool. I'm gonna just, uh, just paste this in, right? Now, I'm gonna, um, okay, my, my paragraph, the paragraph settings are some people, depending on what you like. If you want this to come, uh, you know, from the right side, you know, then you're gonna have to probably use the right setting. But I want it from the left, so I'm gonna click over here. Super. Next, I'm gonna scale this down a bit. So I'm gonna take this to 20. Right, and what you want to do is you want to remove all the spaces between these lines. I'm I'm using a script called Move Anchor Point. I actually have a lot of scripts that I use for my professional projects, 
but uh, this one is for free you know you just google it and I'm going to use it to use uh, to place my anchor point in the center of the text so click there right you have to go to this a sort of thing and then you know adjust the spacing of this like this now one thing I would like to say is that you know even though you have reduced the size in the character panel go to the layer and then scale this down a bit so I'm gonna actually not down a bit I'm gonna say reduce it by half and then I'm gonna place it here now as you can see it looks good if I was to loop this and start moving it it would look good but one tip I would like to give you is that try to you know go into these lines and this is gonna take a little bit of time but trust me it's gonna be worth it that remove these spaces manually and basically try to create a very long sort of text right so if I was to show you guys just you know just backspace everything up and try to create something that's gonna scratch out like that right and this is gonna give you a, a little bit more realistic effect you can keep it in a very short narrow way if you like I honestly have no experience in coding so I don't really know you know what is the best way and what's more realistic uh, but I think this looks really nice to me, you know, it, it's, it's definitely eye candy like and it sends the message that okay something is being transferred, something is being, you know, hacked into the computer or something and therefore I think, you know, it, it definitely works. But again, this is on you if you want to do this, this is just a tip of mine, right? I'm gonna do something like this and uh, there you go. So you want to get, uh, you know, something like that done and once you have that, gonna move on so let me just go get uh, the text uh, from my you know done project so I'm gonna take my text tool again paste that in and as you can see I've taken the time to properly just remove all the spaces and uh, you know put the text in like that as, as you can see it looks a little bit realistic uh, I, I, I'm not sure about the realistic part but it definitely looks good so I'm gonna push it down like that and you basically want to keep the text to the part where it's not you know being under the height of the composition so if you have a 4k composition you ha you want to see to it that this that, that the text is scratching out of the comp like this right and this is happening on both the sides so on up and on the bottom like so right something like that right and I'm gonna keep it right there okay and you don't want something like these to come in like these 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 guys right so I want to push this text up to the point where I'm not seeing any other character except for my first line right and now awesome people here comes a looping technique and this is as you can see it's gonna be really really easy but the experimentation was insane difficult for me I tried expressions I tried effects and everything but this is how I did it so I went to FX and presets and I went to the start category and I went to offset if I take this offset apply it here if I start the animation for shift, uh, shift center to move ahead in time and then go to the second value and multiply it by an odd number so I'm gonna take three here and as you can see nothing really happens and this is exactly what we want for a looping video some beginners would get confused so that uh, they want like a type on effect right they want actually something that Mickey shows you in this video right where um, he's as you can see the video is being typed on and if, if you want that kind of effect I'm gonna leave a link to the to, to his tutorial you can go check it out but when you're looping you want the first frame and the last frame to basically have the same effect and as you can see when I'm jumping to my first frame and to my last frame the effect is saying the same so there is absolutely no difference there and this is exactly what's gonna make for a good loop so if we play this you can see that the text is going down this is not really being typed on it's actually being pushed down but it looks as if the computer is really typing fast and you know all these codes are just you know pouring in and as you can see it's looping quite nicely but I think that this is a little slow for me right so I'm gonna reset this if, if you ever feel like that okay that's too much for so that's too slow you can reset this on the second keyframe and then go to the second value again and again multiply it by an odd number so last time I took three I'm gonna take seven or you can go for five but I'm gonna take seven this time and let's just see what happens and as you can see this is moving I think at, at a good space but I'm gonna reset it one, once again I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for five here I see that and I think that's a lot better that speed definitely works for me right 
and that thing looks quite nice next awesome people is to create those glitches but actually before getting to the glitches part let's just duplicate this one more time and you know and, and i'm doing this just to add a little more depth uh into the scene i'm gonna switch off the other text layer i'm gonna double click on it and i'm gonna uh, copy this long sort of text so take this yeah copy this guy there you go copy this I'm gonna go to the end of it right go to the end paste it again right and, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale this text layer even uh, you know to, to basically make it even smaller so I'm gonna go for 40 and as you can see it gets a lot more detailed and that's fine that that is exactly what we are looking for exactly actually and if the text layer is falling short of the first rule that it has to touch the above part and the below part then no worry just just, just add more text to it right add more text and that's gonna be fine right there you go that's awesome let's just delete this offset and uh, let's just fix the position of this text layer there you go that looks awesome to me right and if I switch on my other text layer which is which is already being animated you go you, there you go you get like a very dense uh, you know code sort of effect reduce the text layer super now what some people if we play this okay so the other text layer doesn't have offsets I'm gonna apply it and you want to I'm not trying to create a parallax here but I still want to give it a little more depth so so what I did was I basically uh, made the other position the smaller text position to be a little more faster so if I start the animation here move ahead in time I'm gonna uh, you know multiply this by a higher number but again this has to be an odd number so if you remember which I think you should because you just did it like two minutes back the first text layer was multiplied by five this time I'm gonna multiply it by seven so this way if I play this you'll see that there's a difference in the speed that the behind text layer the less opacity one is moving a little bit faster and the more opacity one is moving a little bit slower it gives a little more dimension to the whole thing uh, you can duplicate this one more time. Actually, we did three layers. Let me show it to you guys So if I, I I did it with three layers so you can go for that right and move it around see what is the difference in text size right and as you can see this creates a very dense very uh, you know uh, hacky sort of thing so That is awesome uh, next let's add in a background and let's just do like a you know like some very nice touches so I'm gonna create a solid layer now you can keep it black but I personally thought that black was too flat for me so I, I went for a little bit of a gray there call this BG click OK like this down and as you can see it has a little bit of depth right so this is black this is our BG next I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer I'm gonna call this noise I'm gonna go to FX and presets type in noise Take the noise from noise and grain and apply it to my new adjustment layer and I'm gonna increase this to 5 and if you, as you can see it adds a little bit of more noise over there now I want to work with mono colors I just want black and white noise I don't like this red magenta sort of noise so remove that and as you can see black and white everywhere and I just feel that this looks a little bit better so if I let this preview right now you can see that this is actually looping this is seamless loop right it doesn't have uh, that opacity fade that I really don't like in my uh, looping, you know, motion graphics. So let me just come on. There you go. So it's animating at full time, uh, at uh, at real time now, full speed, and right, no jokes, no nothing. Proper animation being done. So that is how you do it awesome people. Now if you want to learn how to create glitches I highly recommend just going to my channel typing in glitch you're gonna find some really good glitch videos But I'm gonna do like a quick quick, uh, you know preview of how to create glitches so I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer. I'm gonna call this glitch 01 I'm gonna go to transform And apply it to the glitch 01 adjustment layer and put this adjustment layer below noise you want to make sure that the noise uh, adjustment layer is always on top okay like on top of all the other elements and other glitch adjustment layer that we have 
I'm gonna create this glitch 01 and uh, I'm gonna go to my mask tool right go to this rectangle tool select your adjustment layer here and I want to create a very uh, you know very nice mask like okay not nice but you want to create a small mask you don't want to go for something this size all right it's, it's not very practical so let's keep it like this now you don't want to make it that small that the glitches are not noticeable you want to make sure that it's noticeable and it has good size on it there you go that looks great to me I'm gonna to go to my transform effect that we applied to the adjustment layer and I'm gonna increase the scale to 125 I'm gonna take my position in the transform and I'm gonna push it somewhere now you can go for XYZ this totally depends on you guys and if you play this you can see that you know the place where that adjustment layer is the code is you know being affected a little bit right and you don't want this this is not looking very nice it, it looks like a filter effect so what you want to do is you want to go to three frames and you want to cut it there I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, the shortcut for that is alt right bracket right it's gonna cut it right there I'm gonna duplicate this push it there I'm gonna double click on the mask to move it around I'm gonna push the mask to be right there right create uh, the difference in mask so we can see some nice you know effects being done maybe even uh, you know change the values and parameters in the transform effect so this way you're having proper differences and not just duplicates right something like that so right looks nice next awesome people once you have created enough uh, you know duplicates and enough variations with your masks something like this mm. I'm just gonna do this one more time and then I'm just gonna go on to duplicating so once you have created enough variations what I would say is at least create six uh, you know variations and six glitches and once you have done that much then you can just start duplicating so I'm gonna select these three duplicate them push them up move it to the you know move it like that and you know increase it to your duration see what works best Let's select all of these move them like that select these again duplicate them all right if you play this now you can see we're having this effect and the best part again that this is 100% loopable so let me just actually create a few more glitches because it's gonna look a little odd if nothing is over here so right now again if, you, if you're trying to create this for video hype I highly recommend playing around with a few more settings seeing to it that the glitches make a lot more sense and as you can see we're getting a decent hacker screen tutorial in less than I think 15 minutes right 15 20 minutes I cannot really see the timer right now but um, as you can see it looks good right and definitely has some practical applications to this VFX motion graphics. So I hope you enjoyed the technique. I hope, uh, sorry, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you knew the technique now. And um, thank you for watching my tutorial. You can again create this sort of thing. And guys, if you want the text to sort of go up instead of coming down for some reason, then you just have to go to the, you know, to the to the offset effect that we applied. Go to the last keyframe. And instead of multiplying it with a positive odd number, multiply it with a negative odd number. So, for example, let me just uh, disable these two guys. Right. So we have a main text here, and I'm gonna reset this. Okay. And uh, you know, previously I multiplied it with plus five, right? Or I multiplied it with five. This time I'm gonna multiply it with minus five. And the exact opposite is going to occur. Instead of go this going down, it's going to go up now. So if I play this in real time, you'll see it's going up. And if I take my work area to here, this is again 100% loopable. Right? So the glitches are being looped. All your other effects will be looped. The text is being looped. And this looks really nice. So I hope you enjoyed again, you know, with this technique. And, you know, it looks nice and that is how you're supposed to do it so thank you for watching my tutorial my name is tj style and i will see you all next time i hope you understood i hope you enjoyed and if you did then please subscribe like this video on youtube and i will see you all next time take care everyone